Hi kids! Today we will learn what are reversible and irreversible changes. So let's get started. Melting of ice is a change that turned ice into water. Burning of paper is a change that turned paper into ash. Folding of paper is a change that changed the shape of a paper. Growing a plant from a seed is a change that turns seed into a plant. Breaking of glass is a change that changed the form of a glass. Mixing of salt in water is a change that changed water into a mixture of salt and water. So all these are changes. Changes can be classified into two types. Reversible changes, irreversible changes. Now let's learn about them in detail. Reversible changes or physical changes are the changes that change the form or physical appearance of matter and do not change the amount of matter in an object. And most of the physical changes are reversible changes. Now let's see some examples of physical changes. Filling a balloon with air. Here we have a balloon. Let's fill it with air. Now its shape is changed. So, there is a change in the shape of a balloon. But this change can be reversed. As we can let the air out of the balloon. And the balloon will come back to its original shape. So, it's a reversible change or a physical change. Let's take another example of a physical or a reversible change. It is melting of ice. Here we have a cube of ice. Let it stay for some time and it will melt. So it's changed from solid state to liquid state. But this change can be reversed. That is, you can freeze the same water and it will again turn into ice. So melting is a physical or a reversible change. Now, let's have another example. Sharpening a pencil. If a pencil is sharpened, only its shape is changed. Or physical appearance of the object is changed. Also, the amount of matter is not changed. Only some amount of matter is separated from the pencil apart. So it's a physical change. But yes, it's not a reversible change. Remember, most physical changes are reversible. Not all physical changes are reversible. Here is another example. Cutting of an apple. If an apple is cut into slices, only the shape of an apple is changed. Also, Amount of matter is not changed. Only the object is divided into some parts. Also, this change is not reversible. Here is another example of a change. Making a pot out of clay. When clay is molded into a pot, shape of clay is changed. No new matter is formed and a fresh pot can be again made into a ball of clay. 
So it is a physical change or a reversible change. So we learnt physical changes are where shape or form of object is changed. Amount of matter is not changed but can be divided into more parts. Or some amount of matter is separated. No new type of matter is created during this type of change. All the phase changes are physical changes, like melting, freezing, condensation. All these are physical changes. Now let's learn about chemical changes or irreversible changes. Chemical changes are those changes that change the amount of matter in an object and some new type of matter is formed that looks entirely different from the original matter and are irreversible, that is, cannot be reversed once done. Let's see some examples. Burning a paper. If a piece of paper is burnt, it changes to ash, that is, some new type of matter is formed, that is, ash, which looks exactly different from the original matter, that is, the paper. This change cannot be reversed, that is, ash cannot be changed back into paper, so it's a chemical change or an irreversible change. Here is another example. Rusting of iron. Here we have a metal, which is not rusted. And here we have a metal, which is rusted. This brown rough layer you see on the metal is rust. And when a metal undergoes rusting, a new type of matter is formed, which is totally different from the original matter. And rusting cannot be reversed. So, rusting is a chemical change and also irreversible change. Here is another example, candle. When you light a candle, the size of the candle reduces with time. So amount of matter is getting reduced and you cannot convert back the candle to its original size. So it's a chemical change and also an irreversible change. Here is another example, cooking eggs. When we cook eggs, new look of eggs appears and this change cannot be reversed. That is, you cannot convert cooked eggs back to their uncooked form. So, it's a chemical change or an irreversible change. So, kids, today we learned two types of changes. Physical changes and chemical changes. And we also learned that physical changes are mostly reversible and chemical changes are irreversible. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.